This is Twit. The other thing that uh, they've done, which is or going to do, which is uh, pretty exciting, it might save your life. But I have some questions about this. They're going to start offering uh, GPS coordinates, high resolution GPS coordinates to nine one one calls on your iPhone. Right? Uh, yep. Yeah, I didn't look too much into that, but it, they've been they, they by law they have to do a lot of stuff for nine one one. I think they're improving the quality. This is something of, new. Yeah, and I've been yeah okay good. So um, uh, this is um, this is something in iOS twelve that Apple uh, put out a press release uh, automatically will share your iPhone location during nine one one calls. The issue they Apple calls it hi, Apple's hybrid emergency location system or Hilo. Um, that was launched in twenty fifteen. Yep. And if your nine one one center supports Hilo, uh, that will help get help to you faster. But Apple says that uh, they're going to do something that will build on that to make it even better. So it's not I'm not immediately clear. But automatically they have a whole bunch of like they they're doing those things like for a while now they've done a thing where you hold down the buttons that'll make a nine one one call for you. Right. And I think their their point is that if you're in an accident and you only have your watch on you, you only have your phone on you, they want to be able to get emergency services to you and as I, fast as and possible. And I was su surprised that you, you know, I didn't, you know, I, I should have known this, but I didn't know that uh, <laughs> 911 uh, responders are generally trained to, if you say, if you call and say you want a pizza, they'll start asking you questions that only require yes and no answers. Yes. Yep. You know, and, and so, you know, that kind of is a way to, and especially combined with GPS, it's useful to, to be able to tell tell exactly them where exactly you where you yeah. are and you're in trouble. And of course, many times uh, you can you can place the call, but you can't talk. You're right. having a heart attack. You can't talk. Mm -hmm. uh, or right, you can't talk because there's other people in the room right. holding a gun to your head. But uh, the uh, the idea of, of course, getting first responders there faster also has to do with the fact that a cell phone isn't where it always at home. It's not like a landline. Right. And it right. uses uh, E911. I know the FCC has mandated location information and i think as yeah. of a couple of years ago they want to get it pretty accurate yeah they, they have uh, there's e911 which you probably heard of right. there is phase one and now we're in now there's phase two rules that basically says that if a dispatch if a e, if a 911 dispatch center tells a carrier like a local carrier like uh, like verizon uh, or at&t that hey look we want really really fine grain results they have to be able to within six months they have to comply with that and start uh, providing that information um i was trying to figure i was uh, i was trying when apple announced this i was trying to figure out what exactly they were talking about um, because that was that, that sort of hits the wall of my understanding of the nine one one system, where it will give uh, in, in that it's designed to give you it's designed to allow the carriers to provide information up to the limits of what uh, the onboard GPS can provide. However, given that we've got so much beacon information, uh, both Google and Apple Maps are trying to figure out if you're inside a mall, what floor of the mall are you on? Are you on? What store are you in? Or if uh, probably uh, uh, more importantly, if you're in an apartment building. Again, what apartment are you in? What what place are you in? Uh, I'm trying to figure out. It's I'm trying to figure out how they might be conveying that information to a 911 dispatcher. But as as excuse me, as uh, as Alex said, uh, they're under. They've got so many rules at the at dispatch, including a lot of us have at some point accidentally tapped the wrong speed dial button on a parent's phone, and then that's <laughs> so, a nope. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. But nonetheless, uh, we get we get some rollers coming about five minutes later because they have to check it out if they have the manpower. This is from Apple's uh, press release. The FCC requires carriers to locate callers to within 50 meters at least 80% of the time by 2021. So a couple of years, three years from now. Yep. iOS location services are capable of exceeding this requirement today, even in challenging, dense urban environments. This new feature allows Apple to make these benefits available to local 911 centers now rather than years from now. It uses something called Rapid SOS, which is another... A company's system. Apparently, it's widely used uh, in 911 centers' existing software. And, and so, if essentially, if they're using Rapid, if they have Rapid SOS capability, they'll get ac highly accurate location information and, and, from and most, your phone. And most likely, this accuracy is going to skyrocket when 5G comes out because 5G is um, much smaller cells. Uh, so, uh, you know, 5G cell, I. From my understanding, it only goes about 250 feet. So, um, you know, so instead of one big cell tower that's covering a big open area, you've got lots of these little tran uh, transceivers that are going to be spread out like, right. like seeds. And uh, because of that, they're going to be able to, the 5G network will know where you are down Much to better. Uh, a couple meters. Oh, maybe that's less. good. Than you do. That's good. 
Yeah. So this is so uh, I, uh, as as you said, Andy, it's not immediately clear how widespread you know how many people are using rapid SOS, how widespread this will be. The problem with regional centers, which is what E nine one one uses, is that they then have to hand you off to a local nine one one. So that's less useful. So I'm not sure how much this will help, but anything that does. That that it in, improves the response time for a nine one one call. Of course, is going to save lives. Uh, earlier today on iOS uh, today, Megan said that uh, what did she say? With a, a one minute improvement in response time, will save ten thousand lives a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a significant and it, difference. 